Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the solution for negative reading which we are seeing in the Everest. I have seen that in last uh, few days uh, all our technicians and our field staff are working uh, for the correction of the Vega meters and wherever the configuration problem was there and same was uh, rectified by putting the right parameters and settings and ratios and everything in the SMPS as well as in the Vega meter. But even after that, uh, once meter started communicating with the Everest, what we found is still your uh, site is showing in an errorness uh, category. That means your reading is started coming. But what the values what we are getting is not correct. And because of that, your PUE is not correct. And for that, this reading is not acceptable for any energy performance project. So now, today we will discuss that how we can uh, do the rectification in the negative reading cases. So if you see, this is a drawing. This is a power wiring diagram of the Vega meter, which is a backside view. This uh, drawing is given in the Vega meter manual also. You can see this is a Vega meter manual, which I have already forwarded. So if you see here that <coughs> this is your 1, 2, 3 and 4. This 1, 2, 3, 4 is your voltage sensing, which you are directly tapping from the bus bar through MCB. And after that, uh, this is your 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 and 18. So this is your uh, cities uh, connection which is coming city secondary. There are three cities we have installed. So these three cities are there uh, in our AG2 case. And um, if you see this 9 and 10 which is our RS485 terminal. So all you know very well and you have done your job and your meter is started communicating. But if your value is coming negative, in that case, what you have to do is, if you see this uh, connection 19 and 20, this 19 and 20 is the auxiliary supply of this meter. So, even if uh, this auxiliary supply is given, but if uh, this meter is not working because this auxiliary supply is switch off, in that condition, your whatever your KWH value is there, it will not go to SMPS when we download the reading from uh, Everest or Zebix. So, in that case, uh, your any reading of particular day may go in negative. And every day what we are doing, we are doing is a difference. We are taking difference of previous day and today. And we are uh, uh, checking the consumption of grid and DG. So, if any of your reading is zero, then either your uh, difference will be huge or your difference will be in negative. In both the cases, your net consumption of per day is very high and because of that, that reading will not be acceptable and your progress will be shown as zero. Just to remove this problem, what you have to do is this 19 and 20 which, connect, which is a uh, 230 volt supply that you have to derive from the outgoing of the AMF panel in the LT side because in normal case in our AG2 either EB is on or DG is on at one point of time. So if I if I download the data from Everest let's say in the 6 uh, evening at that point of time if your EB is not there and your site is working on DG so your DG reading will come and your EB reading what will be zero for that period of time. After downloading the sheet I will what I will do I will I will take a difference of day 2 that is a today and day 1 that is a yesterday is today's reading is 0 so 0 minus yesterday's reading will be negative and that is why you will not get the correct value so one zero reading will disturb your two days because one day it is a day 2 and the next day it will be a day 1 so your two days your reading will be disturbed and that is why you need to correct this problem as early as possible so now I will discuss that how to rectify this problem. In the Vega meter itself, I will show you the Vega meter picture. If you see this is a 19 or 20 what I am talking about. 
this 19 and 20 which is connected at this side which is a 230 volt supply what we have taken as per the circuit but now we have to take this 230 volt either from any power board which is there in your facility like any any 230 volt socket is available you can directly tap this supply from there or you have to take this supply at the outgoing side of the LT panel because in output of the LT panel if EB is there then EB power will be there and if DG is there DG power will be there so at any point of time output of your LT panel will be always available and from there you have to take only one phase and one neutral and you have to connect this so what will happen if your grid is not available your sensing will be zero because grid is not there so your one two three and four that will give a zero value because that we have taken at the input supply of the AMF and which is correct we don't need to change this one two three four or five six seven eight or nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen nothing we need to change what we require to change is this 19 and 20 which is the auxiliary supply of the meter this supply we have to tap it from the output side of the AMF or any power socket inside the facility which always remains on with the output power of the AMF so once you do this even if your EB is not there this sensing will be zero so your your meter will show the zero value of voltage zero value of the current but your cumulative KWH value will always will be available in the meter in the meter memory so whenever we download the reading from the Everest that cumulative last reading will go to the Everest and we can get the correct value instead of zero so this 19 or 20 you need to recorrect at the sites when your meter is started communicating but reading is coming negative I will just show you one uh, drawing also in that drawing also will come to know that uh, what I am talking about this is a Bharat make ACDB type A panel it, this drawing I am just showing you for the example point of view but this is applicable for all type of LT panels in old AG2 Bharat ABCD or interlake C or D this diagram is almost common if you see this is a diagram where this 19 and 20 this 19 and 20 where they have taken from they have taken parallelly from the voltage supply sensing if you see the overall picture your power is coming from the grid and from grid before the MCCB whether it is a EB or DG before the MCCB they have taken this stepping with this MCB and from that it is going to this indication lamp and through that indication lamp they have taken a parallel tapping for the voltage sensing which is 1, 2, 3, 4 I will just show you in the drawing this is 1, 2, 3, 4 this is a sen voltage sensing they have taken and this 19 and 20 also has taken from the same sensing one phase and one neutral they have considered here so instead of taking from here you need to take this 19 and 20 on the output side of this contactor if you take one R and one neutral if this if you take in that way then every time supply will be available at the output side bus because once your EV or DG will fail this contactor will open but another contactor will on so output bus bar will always remain charged and if you derive the supply from there then your meter will be having this auxiliary supply always available and this meter also will remain live and whenever we take a reading you will get the correct reading so this is the one solution we need, which you need to implement at your site at, at the safety you have to also take care so you 19 and 20 whenever you are deriving put one small MCB also in phase so at least you know uh, there will be no any problem and uh, you can do the termination removal of the meter uh, by removing that by switching off that MCB so put over take one MCB in this and then you put this uh, 19 and 20 so I think uh, whatever the problem what we are facing every day that will be drastically reduced
in this if you have any issue you can speak to me otherwise i request all smes all our infra leads infra engineers kindly uh, check my daily mail and wherever you see that uh, i am asking to change your pt ratio ct ratio or any other things in that bucket if your site is there that means maybe your ct or pt ratio is incorrect or maybe it is just because of this well reading is coming as zero so what you can do you open my daily site list you filter your sites and then you see that your daily ev plus dg kwh per day what is it the coming if it is a very high value then that could be the reason and if it is a uh, minus reading that then also it is a reason that it is coming zero also you can see the day one and day two readings also in the same excel sheet there you will find that in day one some values are there in the kwh but in day two sometimes it is totally zero or vice versa so whatever it is if this is a case then this is a right solution and that you have to try and i think once you try your problem will be fixed thank you